The apple snail is invading Louisiana waterways and exploding in population. The large snail seems harmless, but there's concern about what these creatures are doing to the ecosystem. Natasha Robin explains. At quick glance, it looks like a piece of bubble gum stuck to the cement wall of the bridge over City Park's lagoon. But that pink blob is actually a cluster of apple snail eggs. From the egg cluster, those tiny, tiny little eggs will hatch and a very small snail will drop into the water. Hundreds of apple snails will hatch from one cluster. It's already creating a population explosion across Louisiana. And the invasive snails are wreaking havoc in some waterways. People are alarmed. Those pink egg clusters in a lot of places, it's something nobody's ever seen before. Nothing else really looks like that out in the swamp. Michael Massamy is the Invasive Species Coordinator for the Barataria Terrebonne National Estuary Program. He says apple snails, originally from South America, were sold as aquarium pets until people started discarding them in neighborhood canals. We first saw them in Louisiana in, in a drainage canal in the back of a Gretna subdivision in 2006. The population here could have happened with just one single release. That means one person releasing one apple snail here at City Park Lagoon. The snails eat aquatic vegetation, and there's a worry about what will happen if they continue to populate. Those apple snails are indiscriminate. They're going to eat the native vegetation as well. Um, they're going to destroy fisheries habitat and convert these wonderful streams to muddy, algae-dominated water bottoms instead of uh, dominated by plants. Massimi says the snails are now invading wild areas where critical wetlands exist. Now they've gotten out of the bayou. They're, they're in the Mandalay National Wildlife Reserve, um, even in places south of the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway. There's no silver bullet pesticide that can be used to kill the snails. If you come in contact with the pink egg cluster, Massimi encourages people to destroy it before the eggs can hatch. Meanwhile, his team, along with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, will continue monitoring the invasive creature that hasn't shown any signs of backing down. Natasha Robin, Fox 8 News. A few years ago, a law was passed making it illegal to collect live apple snails or to transport them. It's also illegal to sell them. So it's, hmm. it's a little problem that could become a big, big one. Absolutely.